Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hopefully you are doing well. I've been a little busy since the launch of 3.0, and I've had a little bit of uh, internet issues lately, too. It's been a bit of a mess, and I haven't played too much of, of 3.0 since it launched, but uh, we're hopping back in here. Uh, I did play on stream, I think, on release day, so I did get a little bit of uh, game time in here. <laughs> I'm, I'm one for two right now currently on runs i spent actually most of the stream just looking over the new characters and thinking how or, and and the changes to old characters and seeing if i thought they were stronger or weaker that was the bulk of the stream actually so uh that was fun that was cool uh, and i did one run and it was it was good now if you didn't see the end of of 2.0 i i did upload pretty much the vod from the stream of my of you know what'll probably be my last time playing 2.0 so if you want to see how that went, I don't want to spoil it. If you want to see how that went, though, it's it's on the YouTube channel. It's the most recent upload. Uh, but anyway, let's let's play the game. Let's get into 3.0 here. Now, as I've learned some things. I have learned some things since I last played. For starters, uh, you there's a couple of different preset party layouts, right? When I when I did my first 3.0 run here on the YouTube, I saw the colors and was like, ooh, green, what's that? I have since learned that green characters are, in my opinion, pretty weird. Um, I think a lot of them are kind of bad right now, so hopefully maybe there's some improvements on that front, but they're just weird. But there's there's some cool things about them, to be fair, as well. Um, and I think here we should probably just play basic, but the a lot of these, these, these comps now are actually pretty cool. Right? Like, this, this is a very magic-focused comp here because it starts with two blue characters. It, in theory, could be very cool. I think we'll just take the basic starting comp here at first. It's a pretty simple one. It's a pretty simple one. We have Skulk. During the first turn, plus one pips to the enemy sides. That's not too scary. We get Add Goblin as a classic. Pretty easy curse. I think we can take Add Goblin here. That's not too bad. Although we have an Archer here, so it's going to be a little bit tricky maybe to get that Archer killed, but not impossible. Also, I think I need to turn the game music down a little bit. I'm taking, I'm taking Goblins. Taking goblins here. Turn down a little bit. Okay. So let's let's start off with the fact that we have uh, Hoarder, which is significantly changed from the last iteration of Hoarder. So we have that. We also have Prodigy, which is one of the new blues now. Prodigy here. <laughs> this is it. Four health, two different three mana sides here with a spell that has a single cast, one damage cleave, right? Now, no one else on our team has the ability to do range damage except for this Lost. So the odds are is that these Archer is not going to be very easy to kill. But we should keep that in mind that maybe we hopefully can. And we might have to we might have to go like single cast Cleave here into uh, a bow shot to kill this Archer. Although, actually, if we get the Poison Shot, the Poison Shot will also just kill the Archer. So, I don't know. We'll see. I will take... Oh, Mystic got changed too, by the way. Mystic now has uh, more sides that are better. So that's neat as well. Although I think maybe lowered health by one. I think Mystic had five health before. But probably overall a buff, honestly. Okay, so I think the plan here is pretty simple. I think we're going to go like Scorch here into Kill on the Goblin. Redirect here. And then just burst down the rat here. That looks pretty good to me. Now, Prodigy's already shot his shot for the most part here, though. All he's got left is one more three mana side, so probably not doing anything else for us this fight. But what are you gonna do? Um. Try again. Oh well. Oh well. We should have this one wrapped up, though. This should be a pretty, pretty easy one. Now. This is okay. We can take this. We have lethal. We have lethal. So we didn't talk about hoarder at all. Hoarder is I I need to play with it more. My first judgment is pretty bad, but probably not terrible, or pretty pretty worse than it used to be, but not 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 that terrible, and probably still honestly over, overall pretty good. But he now has a two damage death side. He has a two damage exert side now, right? And then he has this side, which is gill. And gill at first I thought this was probably not that good, but it's actually probably pretty solid. You just have to not make it be a lethal hit, right? So you can just do this into this. And it goes pretty well for you. So Hoarder hoarder is interesting. I need to think about it more. I don't know. What does chest do? Is this like an item? What is what is chest? Open curse chest. A random tier one curse. 
I'm gonna have to decline this. I don't want any curses for four random tier one items. No, thank you. Not today. Uh, on this team, I don't hate armor right now. It's not amazing. But, um... We have no ninja synergy right now. Actually, you know what? We have Mystic for ninja. You know what? Never mind. We have Mystic. That's a good enough ninja synergy for now. I'll take that. That, is, that should be pretty decent. We have So we have a new one of the new enemies. B. I haven't seen this before. Four damage, and then the B just dies. I'd rather kill the B if I have the chance. So that's what we'll try to do here. Um, I'll save this in case I need to roll a damage side of, like, you know, Hoarder, for example, rolls terribly here, maybe. Ooh, and then Prodigy comes through here, which is good for us, too. We can go, like, hit into Scorch, probably, here. Into Exert, hit there. And then just burst down the wolf. That's a pretty good turn. This is not too shabby for us. Ninja is still dying, which is not good. Well, I think this does save Ninja, basically. Prodigy, what do you got for me here? Come on. Classic. Interesting stuff, actually, at players. So we can do this into this. Into this, which I think is probably the correct play. But we had the option of uh, getting a focus on Ninja, too. But I don't think that'll be necessary. We also just have Lethal here. So we'll take this. Thank you very much. Move on with ourselves here now. Uh, clumsy Shoes. Not not that good. <laughs> I would say terrible, actually. Horrible item. Reagents, not really usable by our team right now. I guess actually it goes on Prodigy well enough. I just don't feel like we need it, though. I think I'd rather just get a random here instead. Maybe it's more useful. Okay, this is arguably better. You know, getting four bl blanks covered up here, although they're all they're, they're all obviously worse than one heal regen. I think I like this, this line, though, overall. Seems pretty good. So, redirect. We'll take one of these. This should be fine. Okay. So we'll just do something like this. Oh, hold on, actually. So we kill one of you. Hit here. Play like that. There we go. Now, unfortunately, we can't actually scorch the the thorn here. Still spell immune. We might go for some gazes, honestly, here. To guarantee that we can see... I don't even know what we're looking for, then, in that, in that case. But probably just making sure we definitely get a <laughs> one of these copycat sides next turn. Because that wins us the fight. I think that's the actual correct line here. Which sounds funny, but I think it is correct. Okay, try again. There we go. Very cool. Okay, fight number four, we have a troll. We're gonna have to probably kill this this goblin first, we'll see. Collector got some changes too, if you didn't see, by the way. A growth side instead of the bow here, and then a death wish instead of exert. I think overall, a, 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 not a significant maybe, but a, a decent upgrade to Collector. And then we have Druid, who I think is exactly the same. I think that... Hmm. I don't know what we want here. I'm not sure. My gut is telling me Druid. I think Druid's a better a better red here, but I don't hate Mystic as a red. I'm gonna go Druid, though. I think this is a pretty good pickup here for us. And then... We can get a copycat here. I'm going to try to high roll for the double damage. Okay, I'll settle now. Yeah, we're really shielding up today, huh? Who cares? About, I don't care about the focus here, really. I'd rather get a growth hit, I think. And maybe I do just... Uh, leave the goblin alive here? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, they are killing from Prodigy's ass here. Uh, we reroll all of these. These all kind of suck. That's actually a pretty nice little combo there. And then we can roll this. Okay, Hoarder. Maybe next time, bud. Maybe next time. Uh, I take out the goblin here. That seems okay. And I don't think we're going to take uh, Hoarder 
I think we're gonna trade him out for two damage. That seems that seems like it's the incorrect move to do. We get our mana. That's nice. Another growth side wouldn't hurt here. And I think I'll take this as well. The redirect should be pretty good. I think we like go like shield into growth again. And then, like, oh, you know what I should do? Actually, I should probably do this. Like that. There we go. There we go. And we're pretty close to lethal here on Troll next turn. As long as he's doing these spread moves, we should be okay. Guilt is very good here. Just try to roll a little bit more aggressively for one of the better sides. There we go. Cool. Cool stuff. Smooth sailing so far. Ooh, wings! Wings has to be, like, a crazy good spell. Because it's one of the best spells in the game, I feel like. But it just comes on a character who used to be kind of bad. By the way, if you didn't know, Enchantress no longer has wings anymore. It's a different spell now. So there's a bit to keep in mind there. I'll take this. This seems, to me, very good. And we'll take pretty much all these except for death. Uh, I'm realizing too, we may we actually should reroll the druid. I realize we can get the militia to run away here. Should be pretty strong. Mm, try again. Okay, no retreat, unfortunately. This is this is now worse, tragically, but that's okay. Uh, we might just have to kill the the blind guy. Might be the correct way to do it here. Hit you. No real druid play here. Oh well. If we had seen a shield or mana, though, we would be able to get the, the militia to run away this turn. I think it would have been it would have been a worthwhile attempt to make. Okay. One, two, three, four. Try again. Okay, issues. There's many issues here currently, but we survived the turn still. So it's not a huge deal. I guess we just hit the militia. I don't know. You need to just keep hitting fours every round, which is a little spooky. Okay, we just need one more damage from the other, other characters here, which should be pretty easy to do. Okay. Didn't do any of the fight mechanics there. Just just killed them with raw damage, which is kind of a good sign, I feel like, actually, because it feels like our team is strong enough to do that then, which is pretty cool. And here, this is a pretty easy Cleric pickup for me. If you didn't know, Cleric got a pretty big buff now. Went from 6 to 8 HP, has two of these single-use mana sides now on it, and then also has a spell. It's a single-use spell, but it's a, a shield one cleanse cleave, right, for one mana. Very good character now. Very, very happy to see Cleric here. We'll put wings on it, too, I think, for now, as well. We do need some defense, though. I'm going to take this. We can get a little bit more shield here. We get to make this militia run away, which we can definitely make here. Okay, so you're targeting red. We'll put this here, and then we probably just... We're not going to be able to really get this uh, bandit to run away, I don't think. I think we scorch up there. I, well, hold on. First off, we should scorch up here. Obviously, it is just better. But, um... You know, we can't really overkill the bandit with this team, so I think our goal is just to kill him. <laughs> the end. Um, I'll take this. Need a little bit more mana here, guys, if you don't mind. A little bit... A little bit anyone? There we go. Thank you, Druid. Very cool. Very nice stuff so far. Uh, we get Lead Boots versus Abacus. Now, Lead Boots... Not terrible on Hoarder, except he has the death side, which is not good. Um, I think we just take Abacus here, honestly. I think this is fine. We'll put it... Doesn't matter where. I guess on... Maybe Druid for now. Does not really... No, actually... Let's put it on Cleric because of that, uh... Because of that, uh, you know, spell, the wings it has. Wanna, wanna shore up the middle a bit more, probably. Haven't had a good use case for the, uh, what's it called yet, though, which is unfortunate. I'll take a, I'll take a block here. You know, I'll take a growth as well. 
I haven't had a good use case for wings yet, unfortunately, but I'm sure it's coming soon. Uh, put this into this here. And I think we just burst the ogre once you have the kill next turn. And we need to, we can do a little bit of wings as well. To keep people healthy. This is not the best hit here, because we don't need to, oh, oh, we need to kill the ogre eventually. It's fine. Okay. Forgot how that works. Kill here. And the cleave actually does keep both of you alive, which is nice. But then you die. Hmm. Maybe we just don't use the hammer here. I don't know. It feels kind of wrong not to, though. Guess we just don't. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Eh. Yeah, I think we don't. No hammer. More defense for the time being. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'll take these. That's very good, I think. Okay. We can definitely make this work. We put this, like, here. Do a little wing action. And then we go, like, hit into hit. Yeah, this... Yo, wing, wings is an incredibly strong spell. I think it's... I think maybe it should be a higher tier item, personally. Maybe, like, honestly, maybe, like, a tier 4 or something like that. It's it's a little nutty how strong of an item it can be at tier 2. It, it seems it seems too, too low for me. But I'm not going to complain too much, you know. I'm trying to win out here, right? Uh, Sparky versus World. Now, World's the same character, no changes. Sparky is significantly different here. Sparky now, uh, the sides are the same. One more base max HP, but the spell now kills an enemy with exactly two HP. No longer has range and has cooldown now, right? I think most people have been saying that this is overall a nerf to Sparky, but I want to. I gotta try it. I gotta play it to see how it feels. I'm, I'm not convinced entirely yet. So let's see how it goes. I guess put this here for now. Okay, this is exerted. Two damage to all enemies exert. Okay. Then Fnatic is killing the ninja. Ninja dodges, so that's actually hilarious. That's very funny for me. Um, I mean, he, this is a three shield. That's pretty good this turn. I'll take this and I'll see if we can get some more mana off of... Oh, Drew, there we go. Good, perfect. Perfect. Put this on Hoarder probably for now. That seems fine to me. Next turn, we should be able to kill the Fnatic. Bell's exerted. This is a very good turn for us. Very happy about that. Okay. Hammer not as good this turn. This Fnatic is going kind of kind of hard right now. Which is interesting. Okay, Hoarder. You know what? You'll get him next time, bud. I believe in you. Let's do this into mana gain. <laughs> into not using the Hoarder's death side here, I think. That's the current play. We could go Cleanse Shield here, which I don't hate. We got a little bit of mana left over. Um, and Bell does just die next turn to his own Belling. So... We can also just kill him anyway, so we'll, we'll probably end up doing that here, I think. Could have gone for the zap, that's fine. Smashed? Wow, even the game realizes that Wings is too strong. No, thank you. Ooh, Mark got brought down to a tier 4 item. It's still, honestly, probably too expensive. I don't think it's that good. Red Flag, also a tier 4. What did this used to be, like a tier 5 or tier 6? I forget what this used to be. Give me a random inside here. These are both kind of stinkers, honestly. Chakram. Hmm. How do I feel about this on, like, Cleric, right? Like, a, a cleanse a cleanse damage side. Perfect. Uh, not what we want. Um, I mean, this, this this is pretty good. Turning the shield into another ranged attack. I, I think we can live with this for sure. That seems pretty good to me. Now, whether or not it was better than Cape, debatable, but I think, I think it is. I think it's fair to say it was probably a little bit better than Cape there. Okay, what is Golem? I've not seen this man before. Start with sh eight shield. Unused shields are retained. So you're weak to poison, which is kind of interesting for a Golem. 
And we need to act, you know what? We need to kill you fast because you have shield bashes. That's important to note for the future. Oh, you know what's actually so funny? <laughs> yeah, people are saying Sparky's bad. Can you believe this shit? Are you seeing my man fucking go off right now? That's crazy. Anyway, uh, I guess we save a uh, Sparky here because he's taking a lot of damage. Beside and and do we have any? Do we have any way to deal one damage? Not really this turn. We maybe go for a balance next turn. I think we do something like this, this, and this, and try to get a balance off next turn to kill the quartz and the zombie. I don't hate getting the cleanse shield in here to keep uh, at least some of these online, but odds are, actually odds are that we just won't hit it, so I don't think it's worth the mana. Ninja takes the turn off next turn. That's fine. That is a okay. Okay, hoarder's getting hit. We, however, are rolling pretty good otherwise. So, I think we go hit into balance. Oh, yeah, we have lethal. We have lethal. Goodbye, zombie. Soldier versus Scrapper. On this team, we don't actually generate much shields, especially because we have the Chakra. So, I'm not super interested in Scrapper, but I think balance plus bloodlust is good enough here. To take it over Soldier. It's kind of close, though. And when Cleric does roll a shield side, it's pretty good. I think this would be okay. We do need to get, like, a turn one balance off here ASAP, because this is a pretty scary start. With all these damn illusions running around. Okay, Sparky. I just wanted a mana, man. That wasn't... That shouldn't have been too tough, but, you know, that's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Um, what am I going for here? Who needs to die this turn? Maybe just the Imp? And then we... Could just start picking off the illusions here. I don't know. I don't know where to go from here, honestly. I, I think we need to pick off the weaken illusions. And Sparky gets stoned. Not the end of the world. Not a bad first turn one, though, honestly. Take this, take this. Now we can try to high roll on Sparky because we have the mana off of Druid here. I think we'll take this too for the eventual move coming up here. Hey, Sparky, you are dropping the ball today. So we do this. And we probably just... Or, eh, we probably do this into this. Into Zap here. One of these right there. That's pretty good. That has gone fairly well for us. Okay. Sure, we can settle on this right now. We don't need to go too crazy. Um... Yield Bash doesn't look too good here. Charge side's pretty good. Good to do this. It be, doesn't matter which one of you we kill, I guess. This causes a retreat, probably, right? Yeah, he wants to leave. There you go, bud. Ooh, Simplicity. What's this bandana? I've never seen this before. This is a new item. Add cantrip to all pipless sides. When they say pipless, you think they mean uh, sparky, like, like, uh, like charge with zero? Or they mean sides that just don't have pips on them, like uh, like things like the the add shield or add self shield self healed side stuff like that. That that would be my guess. And if that's the case, definitely a simplicity pickup here, right? Because this is pretty nice now. This is pretty good, and this also pretty good, right? Should be decent for a while. I'll take this. I'll take this. Shield Bash, not super useful here, but doesn't matter either way, really. Okay. Not terrible. If you go hit, hit. Oh, you know, hold on, sorry. Hit, zap. It's two health. Put this here. Hit there, and then we probably just pass the turn right now because we can't really kill the other grave or anything. Seems okay. We do, we can go, we can go, uh, uh, balance into Bloodlust on Scrapper here to kill a Soodle, probably. This works too. I, I like this here combined with Sparky Charge. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Put this here. This into like. 
this into, unfortunately, I think we have to kill the druid here. Or not kill the druid. We have to kill the goblin who's killing the druid. I don't see a better way around this turn, really. But this is good. Yeah, they're all, the suitals are low rolling. This should not be too tough. I kind of actually don't hate the heal here for Druid. I think we'll take that. Shield Bash not looking as good. Maybe we'll go for a Bloodlust. Okay, you know what? Fine. Shield Bash time it is, I suppose. I suppose. I think we just burst you... Or, we, sorry, we zap you down. My apologies. You know what? I don't hate this. I think people are maybe talking a little premature on the smack with, with a Sparky. I do not hate it currently. It, it, I, it seems very often that enemies have 2 HP remaining. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. By the way, Prophet and Dancer both have been given... Well, well, Dancer, it's debatable if it's a buff or not. I think I would say it is. Prophet is a straight buff. Dancer went from 9 to 8 HP, so a minus 1 in HP. But the 3 damage got pumped up to 4 damage, which is a pretty important threshold to hit. So Dancer, uh, I feel a lot better about now. Prophet is just the same character, but with... Heal Vitality 5 instead of 4. So it is better. And I will take Profit here. As a pretty easy choice. Um, I don't think I want this on, on Cleric. I think we want the shields for Shield Bash still. And... Pretty good start here. I think we'll just take Vitality. Try again. Okay. Mm. We're going to do something like this, probably. Or maybe maybe like this. We're going to go... Oh, I forgot we don't have Druid anymore. I'm stupid. I'm like, where's my where's my uh, balance? It's not here anymore. Okay, well, in that case... That's fine enough for now. That will be okay for the time being, I think. And unfortunately, Cleric's getting stone, which is not great news. But, uh, we should be fine. I'm not too worried. Not too worried about him. We got profit, too. Like, how, how badly could this really go? Really looking more for bloodlust here. Mana's pretty good, too. Okay, Sparky has triple X'd me. Oh, not Sparky. Scrapper has triple X'd me. You, this will not be forgotten. Uh, we'll just kill you, I think. Put this here. And we're in a pretty stable spot now at this point. The weekend's a little bit annoying. But Profit should be pretty good against it here. Although Profit is getting sent to hell this turn. Which is a little annoying. Put this here, put this, probably on Scrapper again. And I think in theory we could just, like, out-soothe the Lich here. Because I doubt we ever get to a point where he's actually petrified me enough times to cause any notable harm. Uh, We should do this to summon a Bone Boy. And then I guess we just zap the Bone Boy. Whatever. It's fine. We could do a little soothing here. I don't hate it. Oh, I'll get one soothe in. Give me, give me one soother real quick. Okay, we'll take this. Maybe we can roll the cleanse shield here. I will, ex I will accept pretty much all of these actually. Except pretty much every single one of those rolls there. Put this like here. Put this maybe on on ninja for now. Who cares? We are, we are slow, but in control of this fight. It will not be an issue. You can take this. Boom, 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 I guess. I don't know. It's probably, it's probably like a, a better line there. But again, this fight is just kind of smooth sailing. We can kind of just, we can kind of just uh, brain off here. We can, we, can, we can head empty this one. It will not be too tough. Do one of these. And next turn we have enough. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize. My bad. Sorry. Next turn we'll... I mean, he runs here first off. Goodbye, Lich. 
We also could have zapped next turn if we had a little bit more mana. Uh, th th for me, this is just me. For me, it's a pretty e easy idle here. Idle will oftentimes give you a lot of HP on a character. Catnip's not terrible, but you're right. Most dice side is usually the worst one. Like, as you can see here, it doesn't do much for us at all. So, pretty easy. Pretty easy idle. I like the idle a lot. Put it on Scrapper. That's plus six health. That's just kind of crazy. Especially for a tier six item. For a tier six item. I think it got, I think they got nerfed. I think it used to be a tier five before. Either way. Point being, it's good. I'm happy to have it. Uh, I don't want this, actually. I'll keep it. Whatever. We can mana gain off of it. It's whatever. So I'm just thinking right now. Hold on. We're going to have to kill this goblin. Which I, I don't want to do, but I'm pretty sure we have to. I see a way to keep Sparky alive that also keeps us relatively, like, you know, mana efficient. We just put a bunch of bursts on Sparky there instead, but I think this is a better line. We go in with three mana to the next turn. That's not terrible. Should be pretty easy, honestly. Unfortunately, none of the none of the gnolls were exerted there. He's got a lot of damage coming in this turn, but I'll take a rescue heal. It's pretty good. Uh, I guess we bloodlust here. Yeah, we bloodlust here. We have ninja to get some damage spread around. This would definitely be good. Definitely be good. Get a little rescue action there. We're supposed to do like this into this as well. And then we can uh, zap a knoll. Probably just kill this one. Seems fine to me. And I don't see how we lose the snipers from this position. It should be, should be a pretty easy game from here on out. Take these. Hey, check this out. Boom, boom. Easy. Look at that sequence. Fencer's here, which is interesting. Fencer got, I think it's eight, or well, that's what it was. Fencer didn't get its HP reduced. It's still nine. Fencer lost one of these one damage to all sides, which is interesting. And Kronos is still the same. I'm ready to, I'm ready to get uh, Kronos here over Sparky, I think. Kronos is just a solid character. Nothing super amazing or crazy. Nice energy with Scrapper if you get like a really big uh, Shield Bash or Bloodlust. Being able to redo it is cool. This is a good general value character here. I don't hate it. Although we do lose our Simplicity Holder, which is not good news. No one can hold this at this point. Um, Put this here. I guess you know what? Boom. I'll do this actually. There you go. Okay. There we go. Ninja, I would love to see a dodge from here if you don't mind. Okay, Kronos, good try. I appreciate the effort. Not what we're looking for, though, unfortunately. Well, this is gonna be this is gonna be an issue. I'm gonna hold these two so we can save ninja just in case. But um This is a little spooky right now. Okay. Let's look at some stuff here. So we do this into this. Right, and then we can do like hit. We can go like hit into hit. This is terrifying to me. I don't like how this. I think we actually what we want to do here is reroll out of all things actually Chronos. I think we need to stockpile some mana for next turn. I fucking hate this game sometimes, man. Sometimes, man. I guess we play it like this. I don't know what else to do here. That's really fucking annoying. We do not handle Hydra very well on this team. That's the big issue currently. We do not handle Hydra at all. Pretty much. We love a double attack here from Ninja. Make things a lot easier. Okay. Put this here. Put this here. We can kill this wolf. I think we have to slow as well here to stop the Hydra from doing a, a, a gigantic weaken. But maybe we save mana, actually. I don't know. Actually, I like cleansing instead. Let's, let's cleanse. Let's cleanse instead, and let's try to save three mana and try to kill the Hydra next turn with bursts.
Okay, this is good. Let's see how things look right now. Six. Ah, uh, no, we're still a little bit short. And now we go like one. Yeah, we're still a little bit short. This is a pretty good round. We can do a, we can pop a soothe here real quick, which I don't hate. We have two more mana left over. Okay, next, now that we're not weakened, next turn we should hopefully have this from this position. We could have we could have actually rolled for a uh, a mana gate off of profit this turn instead. But I think the, I think I think this has proven to be a, an acceptable line because now we have way more mana. Hit. Hit three, four, five. There we go. Okay, and we are pretty much in the clear here. We'll take this slow. We'll play it safe. We'll soothe up here, and the the alpha pretty much can't do shit to us. So I feel pretty good about this. I'm gonna take this. Sure, why not? Okay. Um. Put this here. Put this. Whatever it doesn't matter too much. Um, hit you, hit, start working the alpha down. Yeah, okay. You guys, you guys can go away now. You guys can leave. Your assistance will no longer be required. Okay, and now, pretty scary fight here. Glass heart. Death is permanent, plus one pips to all sides. Versus Ornate Hill, which has been buffed from a tier 5 to a tier 7, which makes sense. It was a pretty strong item before. Um, 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 um. It's a new item. It sounds a little scary, but it seems really cool as well. Give me the glass heart here. And then we just slap this shit on Profit. And we just make sure Profit never dies. And we should be pretty good to go. Put this over here now. And then this goes over here too. I like this. This seems pretty strong. Just please do not target my profit. Pretty, pretty please. Like in all of these. Dodge on Kronos, not very useful this turn. Dodge on Kronos, not very useful this turn. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Definitely put this on Ninja. Um, supposed to probably weaken both these ogres. So maybe something like this into this here to break intangibility. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, maybe I had to kill the goblin too, because we're going to probably not make it run away. We're probably going to have to kill it at some point here during this fight. So I like this line. Okay, the ogres are just showing us their feet over and over again, which is pretty disgusting. Pretty de degenerate behavior from these uh, sick freaks, but that's fine. Take this too. We don't have to kill the ghost this turn because we have the cleanse shield for ninja. You could do something like this into this. To this into probably just kill one of the ogres now. That looks pretty good to me. Maybe maybe we shouldn't have wasted that damage on goblin. Maybe we should have hit the uh, the bottom ogre instead. I don't know. Definitely take this. Take uh, do I want the vitality here? Maybe I just want mana this turn. Yeah, I'll settle for vitality. Ooh, kind of a really terrible turn. <laughs> kind of a god awful turn here, I must say. That was really bad. No one, these guys kind of screwed up here. I feel like for the most part. Hmm. Okay, let's look at things. I, we have to kill the ghost, I'm pretty sure. I don't see really a way around this. Oh, oh you know what I could do? Hold on. Hold on a second. There we go. Cleric spell absolutely coming in clutch there. You do love to see it. However, we are not in a good spot here. We're taking a lot of damage still per round. There we go. Here's what we're looking for, though. This is the good stuff. Here are the actual rolls. Okay, we're, we're fine. We are A-OK -okay here. I am pretty positive in saying. Can we mana gain into just kill your ass? Into, I don't know, just kill your ass up here. We soothe up. And this should be GG for the ogre. I don't think he can do anything to us here. 
Especially once we start soothing, so. I will look for a different heal. That is good enough. Take these. What do you got for me, Scrap? Nice, okay. Is that lethal? That's gotta be lethal, actually, yeah. Goodbye. Sharp shot versus eccentric. Do we have any eccentric enablers here? Not really. Okay, sharp shot it is. Sharp shot, who has been buffed. The kill shot's now six damage instead of five. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You know what? Here you go, bud. You can hold that. You can hopefully get a kill shot on this slate here around one. That'd be pretty nice. But I will settle for killing an archer here, honestly. That's pretty good, too. And I'll take this as well. A pretty, pretty good turn. Pretty good turn overall here. Um, shoot the archer. Right off the bat, shoot that man. And then I think we just go for like a week in here, maybe. And then hit the slate as well past the turn. As long as they're not hitting profit, everything's okay right now. Profit dies, everything falls apart here. So very important to keep profit alive and well. This is a very good turn for us already. This is already extremely good news right now. So first thing we do is kill shot the slate. Very easy. We probably shield bash this gobble, Ooh, goblin, gobble, goblin. I don't know what I'm talking about here. Ignore me. I think we just soothe. We just double soothe up here. Play this one nice and slow. We can out regen the troll king very easily. It will not be hard to do. We have the poison move. The poison move is not shit, really. It is. It is nothing to me. I'll take this, I suppose. Protos does just keep hitting big mana. Which is good news for us. And we're, we're, we're taking this honestly too slow. We could easily be more aggressive here. But to me, at least it's kind of funny just to be like, hey, uh, dummy, eat shit and die. That's what we're going to do. We cleanse here to prevent the poison coming in, which is even funnier. We just burst you once. And we probably have pretty close to lethal this turn, if I had to guess. Does does vitality vitality doesn't like apply to like enemies now, right? If I do this into this, you're not gonna get max HP here. You do get empty max HP. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay. That's especially on an enemy like Trolling. That's important to note for the future. Be careful about giving your enemies vitality. Okay, goodbye, Mr. Troll. It was nice seeing you. We get standard, which is a pretty easy pickup, but I've not seen Lion. What do you do? Add Fierce. Target flees if they have N or less HP. I've seen Fierce before. Uh, there's like a new character that has like a wand that has Fierce on it. Isn't isn't this just basically like... In, it, it, it's, it's almost cruel. It's pretty much cruel... Or engage some sort of weird between those two, where it's I don't know, it's strange. I think standards is a pretty easy pick up here. <laughs> let's not delete that. Let's not, let's not let's not goof off here too much. Now, demon is apparently different. I don't know what you do now, demon. Must be removed by dice damage, so it can't be a spell. That is annoying, huh? Um, I think we do this. And I think we do this into standard. I think this is pretty good for the time being. And I think just it makes sense giving profit more HP. It's not as much as Scrapper had, but it's pretty close. This seems like a miserable fight. I'm not going to deny this seems abysmal. I'm going to take this. That's very good. We kill a shade. We kill the goblin. And, oh man, the demon's painting the cleric too. That sucks. Well, I can cleanse it. Hold on. You know what? Fuck you guys. Cleanse. Get fucked, idiot. Oh, you know what? Hold on as well. Time out. Time out. Time out. Look at this shit. We cleanse here, actually, instead. And now we don't have to use a burst there. 
look at th look at this sequence. I think we actually you know. I think we burst the shade too, just to get the intangibility broken this turn, so we can get an easier kill next turn. I think this will be perfectly fine. Do this. Kill you. Redo. Kill you. Knock off that whatever it's called. Oops, sorry. Knock your shit off. Heal here. And then, I guess, heal Cleric? Cleanse the pain coming in, too. Can you leave Kronos alone, please? He's had a very rough day today. Okay. Give me a bow. Give me a bow. Why not? Put this here. And the demon runs. Goodbye, Mr. Demon. Uh, listen. Leader, kind of a piece of shit still. Do not like this guy. Valkyrie did get nerfed. Down down one HP, but still very much a good character here. I'll miss I'll miss the cleric. The cleric was pretty good. I will I will miss not having cleric on our team anymore. Let's see. No one's dying this turn, so I don't feel a need to have uh, Valkyrie's Rescue. I would rather get mana in theory, but I'll settle for Vitality Heal here, honestly. Take all of these. Valkyrie 4 damage me. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Um... I don't know why I chose to kill you specifically. Hold on, actually. I think I'd rather do this into this and keep the Kronos a little bit healthier. That looks good to me. Beyond that, I guess just honestly heal on Prophet because if Prophet dies, everything falls apart, literally. I think we actually just burst a Wisp down too here. The more of them we can kill, the better. Valkyrie is pained. Shouldn't be the end of the world. Take this. Copycast side here, not very good. I'll take this, though, probably. No need for the, the death immune because we have profit to heal as well here. Ooh, we will take this, though. Absolutely will take this. We'll probably just chunk into... Excuse me, what? You're pained. I forgot about pain. Okay, well, in that case, this sucks. Whatever, whatever. I guess Valkyrie's probably just not even attacking this turn, actually. Unless we can kill someone who's attacking you. Hold on. Can we do that? I don't think so. We can do this, though, which is pretty nice. I don't hate this line. This looks pretty good to me. Okay. We'll play it like this. For a second, I thought they they changed something where it was like, oh, Basilisks have some sort of damage reflection now in them. Which is not that out of character for a Basilisk, I feel like. But no, that is not the case. Uh, I don't want to say Death Immune here because I'd rather just do something like this into Soothe again. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that, probably. So that's the play. We'll take these. Reroll this. I'll take this. It's pretty good. We don't need to sue that we don't want to now. Mm. Probably this into another sue who is pretty good. Okay. We should be able to beat the Basilisks here. They have very low damage output in the grand scheme of things. So even though they're doing some poisons every once in a while, we're going to just kind of easily outscale them here. Not too concerning. Uh, I like weakening here, too. I guess we could just kill you instead of weakening. I don't know, whatever. It's fine. Again, we're not super optimally playing this here. This fight is a foregone conclusion. We don't have to play 100% optimal here. I just want to kind of finish this one and move on to the next round. If I could. There we go. Goodbye, Mr. Snake. Fight number 19. Oh, we got some chomps here. This is another one of the new enemies. I have Horus pretty good as well. I will take this. I'll put this probably... Where do you put this, actually? I don't know. 
Mm. It's interesting here. I think it has to go on Pride Profit, though. So I think the idol maybe goes on Valkyrie now. Something like this currently looks pretty good to me. Mm. I think that's fine. Okay. And against these chomps here, Val Profit shouldn't need a super high HP pool, hopefully. Definitely take that. Death Immune is worthless here. Ooh, top person's taking damage this turn. Okay. Let's do that for now. Maybe, uh... Get a little... A little, uh... Weaken in here, too. Doesn't seem too bad. Especially on the spiker. That's that's fine. That's an okay turn one. Definitely could be better. Definitely could be worse. Kill shot here is pretty nice because it bypasses all that damage that the chomps would deal to us. So I don't hate that. Um, and when we kill shot the chomp, the Valkyrie won't die this turn. So we can probably just take this and be pretty happy and put it on Scrapper. Hey, Scrapper, let's get an actual move here, please. Okay, Scrapper, come on. Move. Please, there you go. Thank you. Um, So just kill shot here. That looks pretty good to me. And I th maybe we just soothe here, honestly. I don't know. Yeah, we're just playing it slow. There's some good lines you can definitely take here. But we, we can just... We should be able to outvalue them from this position. It would be weird if we couldn't, I feel like, so... Not too worried. would love a shield bash here for Scrapper. You don't get it, unfortunately, but that's fine. Um, Put this here, probably, as well. And we'll just, I guess, you know what? Kill shot the goblin. Not a terrible turn there for us, I don't think. We go next. Profit is getting a lethal attack coming, coming her way, but I think she'll manage just fine here. You don't have to be too worried. Valkyrie proving to not be that good in this team just because the rest of our team is so strong we don't need the death saves. But one day it might matter. We just soothe up here. Okay. We're we're out soothing the damage at this point. We've pretty as long as he's doing spread damage, like direct damage. We have the vitality heals for, so we should be fine as well in that regard, but you get the idea. This man, well, I mean he's already dead, I'm pretty sure here, yeah. So Goodbye, Spiker. And last fight, who are we we're against Dragon? Anything different about Dragon? Oh, is this always 15 damage heavy? Either way, I'm not very scared of this fight. I think we're okay here. Uh So Captain, this new this is one of the new characters, right? We haven't seen any characters actually that had these formations this entire run. Right, so formations, if you haven't seen it yet, it's a new ability. It's basically like a, like a weird spell, but it uses your other character's dice instead. It consumes three damage pips worth of dice and three shield pips worth, worth of dice. But if you do that, you get this effect, right? Which is not terrible here against the archer, but we already have sharp shots. So archer shouldn't be a big issue. Wanderers had a big rework, right? The era side started off at three era. We now have these brass knuckles here, right? And then, yeah, I, I think this is pretty good. I think we take the Wanderer here on this team. I think we're pretty happy about it. Put a put a little standard here as well. I guess Caster Root goes, I don't know, here. Doesn't really matter too much. But, uh, yeah, let's get in there. All we have to do is just keep Profit alive and we should be fine. As long as I don't kill Profit, we're going to be doing great. I will take a Knuckle here. What we really need more than anything right now, I believe, is mana. I will settle here, though. That is a very easy settle, if you ask me. Kill Caw, kill Goblin. Put this on Prophet, because again, Prophet's the most important character here. Give Prophet the Vitality Heal, and then this should give us enough time. Oh my god, Double Poison is a little annoying, though, I must say. This should hopefully give us enough time to start uh, soothing, to remove this poison. We'll see how that goes. I'll take this. Okay, let's look for a turn here. Hey, 
Hit here, hit here. Death save. Yeah, that doesn't do much for you, huh? Guess we just punch the dragon twice. Yeah, maybe the new plan is to not worry about <laughs> any of these. Oh my god. Oh man, this is this is an issue. There are some problems currently happening. Okay, we need some better rolls here, please. Okay, Wanderer. Punch not looking as good here. I must say. Okay, only character dying is Wanderer. We've, we've removed some of the poison so far. But, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a little problematic here for sure. Hmm. Goodbye, Wanderer. We'll miss you. Maybe Valkyrie can bring you back next turn. Definitely give me this. Kronos, we could use a dodge here for sure. Oh, Valkyrie brings you back. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Um, Roll again. I should have kept it, actually. I'm not realizing with mana gain. That was a big mistake. Okay, this is fine. It's actually pretty good, I think. Bring you back. Soothe up here. Hit the dragon. I think we've recovered for the most part. Losing Kronos is annoying for sure. But the dragon only has half health. Oh, come on. Please stop poisoning me. <laughs> Pretty please. I'm begging you. Did we take Death Immune here? We look for mana. We'll take the, the fist as well. Although, actually at this point... Oh, at this point, we should be looking for the Era sides because they're hitting way harder. I'll take this too so we can hit an Era. Please Era me. Thank you. Very cool. Hold on, let's do this first. Oh, I guess we didn't need the death save here, huh? Oh, well. We're gonna win now. I am not worried. We just need Wanderer to head an error side again, and it's definitely over. There we go. Extremely over. A little bit spooky, but hey, we got there. Thank you, Prophet, for the cool heals and mana. Thank you, Valkyrie, for the res on Wanderer. Pretty, pretty good stuff there. Pretty good stuff overall. And, uh, yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.